Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. Landscape design of the estate is a, a science where there are rules, norms and laws, compliance with which is mandatory. Only after studying all the fundamental points can you create an ideal plot that can become a luxurious addition to a country house or cottage. It is necessary not only to be able to take care of plants, but also to have good taste in order to harmoniously combine all the elements with each other, maintaining a single style. Before you engage in the improvement of the site, it is important to understand one simple truth. The creation of a beautiful estate is a continuous process, which is forbidden to stop. Flower beds, shrubs and trees are living plants that need constant care. Lawn and bushes need to be trimmed, flowers and trees watered. If you correctly approach the organization of these processes, then the estate will always be attractive and neat, luxurious and attractive. As with the design of the interior of residential building, the infill should be organized in a single style in compliance with the color scheme. Monochrome is the simplest version of the design of a household plot, where different shades of the same scale are used. Two-tone. In this situation, choose one color that best harmonizes with green, for example purple, white or brown. After choosing the right color, it is important that all additional elements of the site, benches and sculptures, have this color. It cannot be used as an additional color, blue or red. Multicolor. This solution is the most popular because many consider it simple. In fact, it is very easy to make a number of mistakes here, because you need to restrain the edge of brightness and variegation, otherwise the estate will be a colored kaleidoscope, a frightening multicolored spot. You can avoid this by using no more than five different colors. The fundamental moment determining the future appearance of the estate is the choice of style. The only limitation when choosing a stylistic solution is the taste of the homeowner and his financial capabilities. Having chosen a certain style, it is important that all elements of landscape design are part of it. At the moment, designers recommend decorating the estate in the following styles. Classic is a universal option used for plots of all shapes and sizes. It is important that all green spaces have the correct geometric shape. This direction is based on maintaining symmetry while the classic element is a perfectly trimmed lawn. Green spaces, jasmine and lilac, roses and plush, honeysuckle and spruce, as well as round fountains and ponds, arcs and flower pots, benches and gazebos are used as additional elements. Rustic A style that serves at the complete opposite of the classics. Here, the location of objects and the choice of plants is chaotic. There are no geometric shapes. Flowers can be planted in any place. Nasturium, sunflower and mallow are used as plantings. Natural materials, sand, wood and stone are used to create garden paths and flower beds. English style Restrain and preservation of nature in a well-groomed form. You can supplement the plot with arcs and hedges with waving plants. Ponds and paths may have an irregular shape, and near the entrance to the house bright blooming flower beds will complement the picture. Provence is a light and elegant style that takes us to romantic fronts. There are no clear lines here, and the estate is decorated with delicate and bright flowers combined with the lawn in the form of a grass with dwarf flowers. To create a Provence style manor, it is important that all buildings, including a private house, have a light color scheme of decoration. The gazebo can be hidden behind climbing grapes or ivy. 
Japanese style is a direction, the obligatory attribute of which is a garden of stones and an artificial pond with a bridge. Modern. Unusual shapes and sculptures, bright flowers and benches among trees and the main features of this stylistic trend. The layout of the estate begins with a basic idea, subsequently overgrown with additional elements and details. It is worth noting that excessive cluttering of the site with flowers, sculptures and other elements is outdated. Now it is important to create bright and catchy details, leaving maximum free space. When developing a plan, it is necessary to take into account the natural relief, the shape and size of the plot, the location of a private house and other structures, the type and condition of the soil, the ground water level, location of the plot relative to the cardinal directions, plans that are already available on the site. Stages of project design Creating a sketch on a piece of paper in which you need to mark existing buildings. Definition of functional zones and the location of garden paths. Development of an electrics plan. The choice of style. Selection of plants, flowers, trees and shrubs. Fencing is a mandatory attribute of the site. The presence of artificial reservoirs. As for the zoning of the space, it is important to divide the estate into the following zones. Garden and vegetable garden, recreation area and living space. You can also add additional buildings here, sauna, garage or terrace. It is better to place a gazebo, swing and benches in the recreation area. A children's playground should be arranged nearby so that children are always in full view of adults. Cousin paths, hedges and trees are used as elements dividing the estate into functional zones. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.